Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let's go. Creating a platform. I have a uh, program uh, where we're gonna be uh, educating uh, uh, effective black parenting training with these uh, four uh, Christians ladies where, uh, in fact, I got a Zoom meeting tonight at 8 o'clock, so we're gonna start that a 60-day pilot. Uh, we have a documentary coming out. Uh, senseless gun violence, uh, world mm -hmm. epidemic with Ice T, uh, Trey D narrating, <laughs> Freeway Rick, uh, uh, got credible messengers. So it's a lot of things going on uh, to where I just like to start getting in a little bit about what we also are trying Let's to go. do as, as far as what Texas does to help the community. These are credible yeah. mm -hmm. messengers that, that was as opposed game. to just yapping at the mouth yeah, about absolutely. something that's irrelevant. Correct. I, I, and that's the whole game for Boss Talk. It really is. We, yes. we want to bring people together in all walks of life. You know what I mean? Trying to figure out ways to bridge gaps, man. Trying to figure out ways to build bridges instead of walls between different individuals, especially for all us, man, people that look like each other. You know, it's it's very uncommon for people to come together in any sort of fashion unless they're up to something that ain't worth nothing to even talk about. So at the end of the day, to have you brothers to come on, on Boss Talk 101 just to sit down and have a round table, that, that's, 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 hey, man, that's epic for me. You know what I mean? So I appreciate you guys for coming. I'm going to let Mayhem come because we're going to talk a little bit about the books. I know Melvin and Bob wrote all kind of books about it. So let's let's get yeah. into it, man. So what, what uh, when you, because you, you basically, Mayhem, uh, been around me for a while now. So, mm -hmm. you, you you know, and, and I appreciate you for coming on the panel today. Um, just um, a little bit about, like, like, when you think about California, being that you was born in, in California. And then being in Texas, but still having California ties. Um, what do you think about when you look at the way that the, you know, the two cities, uh, you know, kind of springboard off each other, actually? I mean, Dallas, uh, I personally feel Dallas, Texas is, is L.A. You know, we, we have always loved California. I mean, so at Fort Worth, we have been, we have been California uh, – since the 80s, since Ron C. came out here. Ron C. came out from, he was from Oakland, then he moved from L.A., then he moved to Dallas. He came out trendsetters. It ain't, and then, you know, and then, like I say, game banging came, hit Dallas in the late 80s. And Fort Worth was game banging harder than, harder than Dallas. You know, and, and like I say, it was just, we had a lot of love and admiration for California, for just the Snoop Dogs and just, you know, I guess Dallas had like a little pimp, we was like pimping and gangsters back, back back in those days. So when Snoop Dogg came and then I guess we had that I, I like I say, Ron C was a big factor back in the as I'm looking at it now, eighty nine, ninety, Ron C put it down. Yeah, yeah, and I he, had I had Nino Cappuccino on uh, no not Nino Cappuccino. I had him on there, but I had uh Bobo. I had Bobo on here and he talked about Ron C and Snake. That's what it was. Hmm. He, he talked about those and two Nemesis. guys. And Nemesis. I remember. I remember being in Fresno, California, and hearing "Munchies for Your Bass." I remember walking in Fresno, California, hearing Dallas music "Munchies for Your Bass," which is DJ Sneak in Fresno in '86, '87. So Dallas music, I, and it's crazy that I would end up in Dallas listening to California music because I'm from California. But I grew up in Albuquerque, Colorado, Dallas. Uh, Louisiana and Memphis. So I grew up, but I've always had a connection to California. My oldest siblings grew up in California. All my family gang banged. All my family was crip. That's why when I went in the, when I went to prison, I was really crip. I, grew, I really grew up a crip, but when I went to prison, I wrote my oldest brother. I got 17 calendar years in prison. My oldest brother got 20 for murder. He a crip. I wrote him, I was all excited to write him. Yeah, bro, yeah, cuz, cuz. And I was writing my brother. My brother wrote me back from California prison. And he said, nigga, if you don't stop <laughs> gang banging, if you ever write me this, <laughs> nigga. And he told me, he did, y'all ain't no real crips. Y'all, and, and my this my brother. He already had about 17 did, did. I'm just entering prison. But he told me then, don't gang bang. Y'all cripping ain't cripping. Wow. Y'all disrespecting us up here. We do not respect what you're doing down there. If you come down to Texas and you tell us you're a crip, they're going to kill you. Now, Stop saying that. 
It depends on it depends on who you is, how yeah. you carry yourself. It don't matter who you are. If you don't no, have, if I, don't, you, I don't believe it. No, listen, I, feel I don't you, believe it. No, I'm, I, it's not. I don't believe whether, it. It's not whether you believe it or not. This is what my your brother knew who you was. No, this is my brother. This is my brother. He know. He yeah, loved me. I just said that. He know he who you know, was. He's telling and, me. And some people know that. Hey, nigga, you ain't been put on no work. We're saying. No, that. no, nigga, no. You ain't no crib, nigga. They no, gonna tell you no, that. No, no. See, my thing is that when we say you can look at a crib and tell a crib. No, nah, but I'm talking about crib. We talking about. Being initiated, okay, okay. we talking about real crib. We ain't talking about no. I'm from the neighborhood. Nah, we don't know what kind of crib that is. We talking about real cripping in Dallas. See, when you got crip niggas in Dallas, you got niggas who really was initiated. When I tell you I was cripping in Dallas, we was in, you had to go through some real stuff. You just couldn't. I think I'm gonna be a crip today. No, <laughs> nigga, you was gonna, you was gonna. It was that was a problem. You couldn't walk outside and say you was a crip and not so be a real how crip. Could, how could now, your listen, brother did break down what your brother was saying and how you did, feel about it? And he, you didn't stop cripping then either. I immediately stopped cripping because okay. I was in the county going to Prison. TDC. Okay. So this he told me at a pinnacle point. I was 18 years old. I wasn't no average crip dude. I wasn't no I wasn't no regular crip. I was a big crip. I was a big I was sold drugs, so I wasn't no I wasn't no regular dude. I was I ran people in the street. I was embraced by a crip and I wasn't no they when I had to gang bang. No, I didn't have to, I didn't have to gang bang. I love gang bang. You feel me? It wasn't a it wasn't a damn, I guess I gotta do this. It, I couldn't wait to get up and go outside and hang out with my brothers. Man, this was what it this was my life. So So when he told me about listen, bro, this cripping has did to you what it did to me. You, I got murdered. You you 18 years old, you got aggravated robbery and attempted murder. Cripping, <laughs> cripping is, is, is for us in that California. ain't got nothing to do with no cripping. No, but listen, <laughs> see. I, <laughs> I'm trying to I don't understand. Know, I don't know what your cripping was about. It wasn't about no killing and robbing. Well, uh, cri cripping is not about killing and robbing. Cripping is about standing on principles. And sometimes when you stand on principles, you gotta hurt people. What's a big crib? What you mean a big crib? You said you was a big crib. A big crib is What's somebody. What's your set? A school yard 30. I heard it. I heard it. That's what you talking about? What, are you questioning? Are you, you. I got to. <laughs> are you I got questioning to. me? Because I, I don't hear cripping. I don't hear cripping. No, I'm not. I have I'm a, community resolution no, progress. No, 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 no. I'm no longer crip. I'm, I'm not gang bang yeah, since I was me. 18 years old. I say I'm community I revolution you, in progress. We grown men. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.